Mm. Vad är gott med mat? Mm. Vad är gott med frukost? Mm. Mm. Nu ska vi fixa te. Good morning, Tisa. Thank you. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> And welcome back to the Moon Flare HQ. Today it is Thursday, and it is May the twelfth. <laughs> Martin is here. Tesso is here. Yes. And I am here. Och Martin är här. Och Tesso är här. Och vad roligt att Selina är här. And Martin wants something, but I don't know what he wants. Yesterday was a craft day for me, at least. I don't know, how about you? It was fine. It was fine. But just fine. Uh, I was actually here by myself and that's why it was so <laughs> crappy! No, <laughs> well, yeah, both. Uh, there was some stuff happening. Um, actually, you know what? We're gonna talk about this because I feel like, why not? I posted this post on my Instagram a couple of days ago and it's just uh, like nail clients do's and don'ts. They're pretty obvious things. It's like show up on time, relax your hand, use cuticle oil the first line though says uh, quote how much and that's on the don't and then on the do it was like quote hi my name is mm -hmm, i would like to schedule an appointment with you for me i feel like that was pretty straightforward but there was a misunderstanding with this so the point of that was that so many nail techs today they get a message out of nowhere with nothing but how much personally i would not even respond to that because i feel it's pretty rude i think you say hello uh, hello <laughs> hello <laughs> and then you introduce yourself with your name i think that is the polite way of approaching people in general like in life and how you communicate with people it's kind of like when you say please or you use the word like thank you or Stuff like that. It's just a polite way of communicating with people. Well, the second problem here is that how much, okay, uh, how much for what? Do you, do you want an extension? Is it an overlay? Do you want acrylic? Do you want gel? Is it nail art? Is it not? Like, it's hard to answer that question even if someone thinks it's not rude. <laughs> I posted this on my account a couple of days ago. I feel like no one misunderstood the post on my account. Everyone understood what it was all about and they were like yeah i agree and i don't feel like it was a rude post from my side either it was just like pointers and I, i did plan on doing another one for like the nail tech but i started with the nail client then this post ended up on different large other platforms and especially one that has like 2.7 million followers the post got a lot of likes but the amount of comments where people were just fully blown offended by that post was ridiculous i think people were completely overreacting and i was like what is going on why is this happening but people misunderstood it as you are not allowed to ask someone for their rates like how much okay i accept that it can be misread so i was in there trying to explain i was very polite very nice but people were just so aggressive even when i tried to be like answer in a polite way back they still tried to hammer me down luckily i had a lot of text that kind of backed up my my posts or my comments and i had a lot of people actually coming over to my page because of my answers uh, because they felt like it was professional and good so a uh, big tip for you take advantage of those situations and act professional because it can benefit you but i was just so shocked in the way people reacted like they were so 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 offended and it didn't even stop at how much they went on the full list but people were super offended uh, by everything and eventually uh, the account actually 
took the post down. They did? Yes. Because it was just getting out of hand. And that's, I think that's the dangerous thing with social media because I feel like if there weren't that first one or two people who mis misunderstood, uh, then I don't think the rest would have misunderstood it e either. So it just takes, it takes one or two people to misread something and comment about it. And then all of a sudden people are not thinking objectively anymore. And then they kind of just go with that train. And once that train starts, it's so freaking hard to stop. And for me, um, I was asleep when this happened. So I came in like eight hours late and then people were already super upset and aggressive and angry. I tried my best to clear it up, but it seemed like even when I tried to clear things up, people weren't interested in having, they didn't want to be unoffended. So they, wow. they found other things to be offended about. My God. I think the thing that I have a problem with on social media um, that we work on a lot is how much of the information that we put out is actually being read or interpreted. If you have two tables and the first sentence is how much, mm. don't do this, mm. how much, and they see that there are more don'ts, mm. they don't even go to the other mm. side to read mm. the do's. Mm. They see it, they mm. react and then they go to the comments. Mm. I think it was very clear, mm -hmm. but I think things I've posted have been very clear as well, and mm. it has been misinterpreted. I would say, like, in general, as you say, like, in social media, it's so hard to get information through. Mm. This is my opinion. I think that, in general, like, mo many people out there are looking for things to get offended by. I think that is the problem with the world right now. Like, people are so hostile, looking for fights, almost. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. That is kind of how I feel sometimes, or a lot, no, I on think, certain platforms. Yeah, and I think that people feel the need to react mm. as if they were attacked. Mm. Mm. Because they saw a sentence that they use. Mm. Mm. So a lot of the comments that I mm. saw was like, uh, I'm on a budget and I need to know your rates mm. because maybe that's an issue, you need to know mm. how much somebody is charging. Mm. And that's, of course, something you should do. You should yes. know the price before you sit down, get your yes. nails done, and then go... But it's how you word it. That was yes. what I was trying to get through to people. Like, yeah. you don't come... You don't walk into someone's home without saying hi. You just walk in and say, where's the food? <laughs> like, you don't walk into a store, no. take something, shove it up someone's face and say, how much? No. Like, excuse me, uh, could you please help me? I, I couldn't figure out how much this is. Could you help me? Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. And a I'm lot old of the, school. Uh, a lot of the good feedback you got was that mm. most nail techs don't even reply exactly. to those kind of questions. Yes. It takes you 1.0005 mm. seconds to write an extra, hello, my name is blah, blah, blah. Uh, just think about it. If you have done it, no worries. Uh, we live, we learn. So no shame on you if you have done it. But now you know and now you can change it. So that's it. We don't have to make a big deal out of it. Now, okay, we're the ones making a big deal out of it. But, you know, the previous with the post and everything. Because it pretty, it seriously, it fucked up my day. Because I couldn't believe how rude people were. Like, ugh. okay. Let's just leave it at that. Today we're gonna do nails. I'm gonna do my nails. This hand right here needs a Some fix. love and attention. Oh, so very much love and attention. There you go. I will do something black and white on this one as well with a new background. So we're just gonna get started here and then I'm gonna sit over here. We're gonna do a live. We're gonna do the vlog. We're gonna do stuff for TikTok. I just received one million, <laughs> sorry. Ah, I just received 1 million views on one of my TikToks. Thank you. Thank you. It says 1M on one of my videos on TikTok. I'm in the 1 million club. You get like a little pin or something. I should get a pin. You yeah. can make me a pin. <laughs> 1 million. <not. laughs> I'm pretty proud. I am actually pretty proud. That was fun. That was a nice way to wake up. This morning. Yeah. Mm. Contrast. Yes, from yesterday. Yeah. Okay, anyways, we're gonna do this, then we're gonna sit here and we're gonna do nails. Woo!
All right, we're gonna use this camera. We're going to use this camera. <laughs> and we're going to use this camera. Today, I am going to fix this mess right here. And I think we decided that these nails are seven weeks old. So we're gonna do something to match my other hand. This one. I think because this one is swirly, I want to do something more like straight. Okay, since these are pointing downwards, I want to tilt them up. So I think I'm going to start by just pushing them up because since we're going to cut them down as well, uh, we'll see if I need to build them up from above or if I can just push it up. Push it real good. Do ba da 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 da. Mm. What are you going to do on this hand? Um. Well, it has to match my other hand, so something black and white. But since I'm working with my non-dominant hand, uh, I think we're gonna do something like easier. Maybe just like straight lines because. My left hand has squiggly lines, so then I figured it would be cool to do like straight lines on the other one. Straight lines! No, you want it. your natural nails? No, they're all extensions. But my natural nails are pretty long now. Okay, so now it's time for nail art, and I have no clue, except that I would know I want it black and white. That's it. And I want straight lines because I don't have the energy to do squiggly lines right now. So we'll see what happens.
from the USA. Hello, hello, hello. Hello from the USA. I am American, American, American. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And now I need to go to the bathroom and then I am going for a walk with Martin and my mom. Yes, body painting. Body pain mm. I think I've seen. There you have it. Um, yep. Yeah. If you want to know more about structure, shaping, extensions, working with forms, all that fun jazz, uh, check out mynailacademy.com where you have all my online classes where I go over shaping and all that. My other hand. Boop. 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 Me and Martin are gonna go for a walk now. Yes. Yet the pep. Oh, Martin is so excited. So we're gonna meet up my mom and a dog that they are taking care of right now. And we are going to go for a walk. So I'll take you with me. Tessa will stay here. Yes. Yes. And I'll be back soon, but you get to come along, so just stay tuned. Anox is dead. Oh, so I just dropped Martin off at studio with Tesso and I will go right over there and grab me some Thai. So there's the Thai place and there's the studio. So it's super close and they have really good Thai. Martin? <laughs> Water service! Water service? Hmm? They got this. Uh, I have a new knuckle and I'm just. Dante, you stay. What do I do? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Juicy briz. Juicy briz. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> nice. Just pass me. Jag frågade mig ifall jag hade sett det ledsna filtret. Mm. Vad tror du? <laughs> Hej. Nej, det funkar inte. Det funkar inte. Mm. Lunch kisses. Coffee break kisses. <laughs>
it is now uh, almost 8 p.m. I stayed a little longer to create some more TikToks. And I am getting so ready to go home and watch the second semifinals of Eurovision. So nice. And actually, Christian is out touring. He is actually recording like a tour um, documentary with um, a couple of bands. I will be home alone with Martin for like two and a half weeks, starting today. So I'm not really rushing home. I do have to... Uh, figure out what I will have to eat because I have Martin so I can't go shopping without leaving him at home first and then go shopping food so oh don't know <laughs> didn't think about that yeah so I need to get home I think it starts at nine so I really need to rush now because I really want to see it so um Hope you enjoyed this vlog with lots of nails and uh, lots of other things, I don't know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that little notification bell if you have not already so that you know whenever we upload a new video. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok as well so you got Moonflare Nails and of course my account, Slithina Raiden, where I just received one million views on a video so proud and now i'm actually gonna upload my jack sparrow run so that's gonna be fun to see how people react to that it was it was a lot of fun recording um take care we love you so much see you in the next vlog bye